Hi, I'm Hannah from California. Please like and subscribe because MSA will give $1,000 to one lucky person in the coming seven days. I was born to one of the most beautiful women in the world. Yeah, everyone thinks about their moms, but in my case, it was actually true. Everyone said so. And I was just like her. Dad adored us both, and we lived in a beautiful house. Life was good, almost perfect. But when I was 14, everything changed one day. I slipped on something on the pavement outside and fell to the ground. And when I woke up, I discovered that I had small scars all over my face. And the doctor said they may never go away completely. I was in shock for a few days. Once the scars were healed, mom took me to the mall to buy makeup. But just putting on some concealer wasn't helping much. You could still see them. The next few days, I spent hours watching YouTube makeup tutorials. I studied the way makeup artists transform their faces with layers of makeup. And once I'd applied it on myself, my parents were stunned. Hannah, I hardly recognize you. But honey, the stuff will rub off when you play outside. True. So I guess I won't be doing that anymore. A week later, my parents sat me down for a talk. Hannah, we have some difficult news. Our company is not doing well and we'll have to sell the house. While we're taking care of all this, we think it's best that you go to my sister in Seattle for a while. Honestly, it was a lot to take in, but a part of me was relieved. I'd never met my aunt or been to Seattle, but it meant a fresh start where no one knew what I looked like before. Two days later, I flew to Seattle and a driver picked me up at the airport. Aunt's house was basically a mansion. I knew Aunt owned a skincare company, but I had no idea she was so rich. A maid led me to my room and as I was unpacking, I suddenly jumped when I saw someone's reflection in the mirror. It was a really short woman with an unpleasant expression. Um, hi, can I help you? Help me? How would you help me when you've come to live on my charity? Wait, this woman was my aunt? She looked nothing like mom. Oh, I'm sorry, aunt. I've just never seen any pictures of you. Of course, why would your vain mother keep pictures of me? All she ever cared about was herself and her looks. Judging by all the makeup on your face, I guess that's what she taught you too. Not exactly. Since I'll be living with you, you might as well know. I took a wet tissue and cleaned the makeup off my face. Aunt stared at me, and then she started laughing. Oh, <laughs> this must bother your mother so much. She couldn't even stand it if she had a tiny pimple. She was obsessed with perfection. Well, she's not like that now, really. I'm guessing it was her idea to get you all this makeup. Trust me, I know your mother better than you do. With that, she just turned and left. Well, yeah, mom had bought me the makeup, but it was what I wanted too. Aunt was just weird. And over the next few days, I realized she was really weird. She'd ask me to do the oddest tasks. I only eat the brown M&Ms, so pick those out and throw the others away. Get me six blueberry muffins from the bakery and then pick out all the blueberries. I'm allergic. You have to read me 22 pages every night before I go to sleep. I tried doing whatever she asked, but then one night she woke me up by calling me. I need three apples from the tree down the road. Um, you need them now? It's 3 a.m. I'm not going, aunt. And I hung up, but moments later, she appeared in my bedroom. If I were you, I'd do what you're told, Hannah. I've been doing that, but I think you're just enjoying torturing me. You and your parents owe me. They're nearly bankrupt, and I've been sending them money, and also offered to send you to school. So, I want those apples, now. I climbed out of bed and went out. I didn't realize my parents were in so much trouble, and I didn't want to add to their stress. I got some relief from her when I started school. I was looking for my class the first day when a boy approached me. Are you new here? You look lost. Yeah, I'm extremely lost. His name was Eric, and he was really nice. He showed me the way to my class, and as we parted, he said, Hope I get to see you around later. Maybe Seattle would be bearable after all. As I was looking for an empty seat, a gorgeous girl waved at me. You come and sit right here, new girl. I'm Tracy, and honestly, I'm the only person worth knowing in this class. Ever.
Feel the flavor like a million lime kisses. There you. Everyone else is boring. By the way, I just love your makeup. Wow, this Tracy was definitely full of herself, but she was kind of fun, and soon we started hanging out every day. A few weeks later, she proposed a sleepover, but it had to be at my house. Sure, but be warned, my aunt is weird. The night started off pretty 